mentioned education as one of the big problems a minute ago. Well, let me tell you what I think we ought to do. I am in favor of vouchers. And Eric Johnson's done some good things when he was back in the Senate on vouchers. But I'm for vouchers for a different reason than a lot of people. A lot of people say, you know, vouchers are great. They'll fix education. We have vouchers. Public schools get great. Anybody ever hear that? Y'all heard that before? I don't believe that. I don't think vouchers are the silver bullet that'll fix everything. I'm for vouchers for a philosophical reason. I believe you put your money where your priorities in life are. And if what you value in life is the public run school system, then take all your money and put it in the public run school system. That's what we've been doing. It hasn't worked. What if we did something different? What if we said what we value is the child and we take our money and put it with the child? I don't care where the child's educated. Public school, private school, religious school, home school, charter school, virtual school over the internet. It doesn't matter. Different children can be educated in different ways. Let's take the money and spend it on the child. Let it follow the child and go to give that child the best education possible. I guarantee you, we can't do any worse than what we're doing. We've got to do something different with education. I think I've already talked about the size and scope of government. I think I covered that. And I do want to mention something about tax. Anybody here like the fair tax? We got any fair tax fans here? One thing really bothers me, you know, I'm for the fair tax because I think an income tax is fundamentally wrong. Uh, I describe the fair tax a lot of times as, excuse me, I describe the income tax a lot of times as your child comes home from work, excuse me, child comes home from school and they say, you know, Daddy, I made an A in history. And you're real excited. And then you tell your child, that's great, you made an A, give me $5. You wouldn't do that, would you? Your child probably wants $5 to make an A. Is that the way it is in your house? That's the way it is with my kids. Isn't that what an income tax is? You go to work, you make an A, you work harder than the other person, you're productive. And our government says, I'm glad you worked hard and you did better than the other person. Give me $5 with a few zeros added behind it. That's basically an income tax. They're taxing you for doing a good job. Who in their right mind would tax you for doing a good job? It's punishing you. But what bothers me is when people go around and say that the federal income tax is wrong and they want to get rid of the federal income tax, but then they say, oh, but you know, here at the state level, we gotta have our state income tax. You know, we, we can't run the state of Georgia without an income tax. Well, how are we supposed to convince the bureaucrats and the politicians in Washington that you can run the federal government, the giant federal government, without a federal income tax when we are setting a bad example by having a state income tax. People in Tennessee can do it. People in Florida can do it. We ought to be as smart as they are. When I'm governor, we're going to join the other eight states around the country that don't have an income tax. We're going to show Washington the way and lead by example of getting rid of the state income tax. Conclusion, this is about the strongest, most experienced candidate and the person that can be Roy Barnes because the next governor is going to preside over reapportionment. That's going to be redrawing all of our lines for state and local offices. It is imperative that we have the strongest candidate possible. I'm the only candidate in independent polls that's gone head to head with Roy Barnes in this primary season and beat him. I'm the only one who's out polled him. I'm the only candidate for governor that has carried 154 counties out of 159 counties. I'm the Republican that carries this county. I carry Rounds County. I carry Bibb County. I carry Columbus, Muskogee. I even carried Albany, Darty County, the home county of Mark Taylor when he was running against Sonny Perdue. No other Republican carried that county. I carry that county. I carry Fulton County, Atlanta, Athens. We've got to have another Ronald Reagan conservative that's a true active conservative that can bring those Reagan Democrats back to our side and not run them off like the guys in Congress did. And we can make sure we keep Georgia a Republican conservative state. That's what John Oxendine will do for you. I need your help. I need your prayers. Go to johnoxendine.com. Go to our Facebook page. We got over 8,000 friends, by far the largest Facebook page of anybody running for governor. 
Come join us and be part of the team. Thank you very much, and God bless y'all.